I'm Kirsten and welcome back to another video. So today we're actually going to be talking about and celebrating the fact that we have actually been on YouTube for a total of five years. Five years, that is crazy to me because I feel like it flew kind of by but at the same time not really because I feel like it's been a long time. But it actually has been a long time because we're going to talk a little bit about my history, but of course I'm not going to go into everything. Uh, I will have videos linked down below if you really want to know the whole history of the channel, but I do want to talk about this year, or this last year specifically. Um, but a little bit of our history is in May of 2015, Kenna, Chris, and I decided to start the KMC Whatever channel. Um, where we just post whatever content we felt like we would like to post. We wanted this channel to grow with us, grow in general. Um, so we tried to post as much as we could and ultimately we ended up taking massive breaks um, for about three years. But ultimately in the end of 2018, Kenna decided that she really wanted to start recording videos again and we wanted to start up our channel again. So our first video back, we just kind of jumped right back in and didn't really explain anything about where we've been for the last like three years or anything. In 2019, our videos um, channel where is kind of where it formed. All of the content you guys see today is kind of the content that began there, and um, we've been doing it ever since. Um, some of the main highlights in 2020 obviously COVID happened so lockdowns happened and our channel took a massive shift of mostly this channel was mostly me and Chris we didn't see much of Kenna because at this point we lived two hours away and we were in lockdown so um, in 2021 uh, we did have a few firsts I would say we did do our first year of vlogmas um, and Otherwise, that was about all. We did do our first ever uh, KMC whatever trip together, where it was just the three of us. It's been our only trip with just the three of us. 2022, I'm not really going to talk much about because honestly, not a lot happened in 2022. Uh, we still did this channel. We still posted very consistently, um, but nothing really too crazy changed. Um, we had about 50-ish subscribers, I would say, at this point. We don't have a lot of subscribers. Now let's talk about 2023 because that would be our five years. Um, in 2023, we actually started to do our weekly vlogs where we started to let you guys in on our day-to-day -day lives. We're not some fancy YouTubers. We're not glamorizing our lives. They're, you see pretty much a lot of what happens in our day-to-day -day life. Like, there's not very much sugarcoating any of it for you guys, and that's when we started to realize that we really do like vlogging, and it's something that we enjoy doing. So our channel very much consists of vlogs now, um, but I did, during 2023, decide during the Halloween series that I wanted to start my true crime up again. I did take about a three, two, three year break um, of posting a true crime and I just love true crime so I just wanted to bring it back um, and so I did start posting that again um, we did do some travel diaries last year where we went with our whole family um, and we went on vacations to Las Vegas and we did a um, Colorado Travel Diaries videos, which are some really good videos, to be honest. It was, it's very sentimental for me. Um, and also, Kenna ended up moving into her new house about an hour and a half away now. So I am gonna go ahead and give you guys our favorites of 2023. All the videos that we posted that we loved. Um, so my favorite videos of 2023 were the Travel Diaries videos for Las Vegas in Colorado. But of course, if you're not into travel videos, I absolutely loved our fall treats video where we cooked fall treats. Um, I did find a cool recipe in that video, so I definitely think that video is a good video. And another video that I really liked was my 
one second of every day of 2022. I do plan on doing another one for 2023. So if you'd like to see that video, definitely give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you want to see that video. Um, so those are some of my favorites of 2023. So Kenna's favorites of 2023, she has mentioned that she also loves the travel diaries videos of Las Vegas and Colorado, but of course, because not everybody is into that, um, she did also love our Christmas decorating video, um, vlogmas video, so that's always fun. I did like some of our vlogmas videos with our um, going to the Omaha drive through lights show, my um, little birthday trip with my friends, those were always fun. Um, and also the little zoo light things that we went to with Kenna, those two videos are really fun too. Um, and some of Chris's favorites this year um, <clears throat> was his series of Haunted Hunts. Um, if you don't know, Chris is really into paranormal stuff and that the, that series is us going to places to see if it's haunted basically and do a paranormal investigation and that video was very much directed by Chris and what Chris wanted to do um, so he loved that video um, so I will have all these videos that I am mentioning linked down below for you guys um, and after looking at how many videos I actually posted last year, I can understand why I would want to hone down this year and not post so much and why I was getting a little bit burnt out. So I realized that we posted a total of 138 videos last year, which is insane to me. Um, because again, that's just a crazy amount of numbers. Um, but at the time, I think we were posting a weekly vlog every single week. And then I think we were also posting Friday videos, which is kind of the main videos. And then when I started my true crime up again, I started posting my true crime um, every other week. And that seems to be a lot of videos. And I got a little bit burnt out with some of our Friday videos because I just felt like... It's just a lot <laughs> to come up with the ideas, to record the video, and then edit, and then post it. It's just a lot. So, ultimately, this year's scheduling did change a little bit because last year I felt like I probably just posted way too much. And in fact, I actually think I didn't post for a couple months in there because I did take a little bit of a break because I did get burnt out. And also, my life was just crazy busy. Um, that I just didn't have time to edit and post and do all those fun things that you do. So, this year, I have just made it a point that we are just going to weekly vlog because it's something that we enjoy doing. And if there is a video idea that comes about um, that we want to shoot and record and edit and then post it, I will post that on Friday. But occasionally, that just won't happen. It won't be a video every Friday. Um, and my true crime isn't going to be every week. It's going to be probably either once a month or every two weeks. I haven't really quite decided yet. Uh, I did post one already, so I will have all those linked down below. But new stuff I do want to bring to the channel is I kind of want to bring back some of our challenge videos. I feel like we just don't. YouTube isn't what it used to be and some of these challenge videos just don't exist. And I want to bring back the old challenges that we did and I want to bring back um, some of the older content to see if you know things changed like we did a video where it was like sister versus husband video um, and ultimately Kenna ended up winning that but I would actually be curious to, to know if Chris would actually win it now that I live with Chris more and I don't see my sister as much or would Kenna win it because ultimately she knows me best who knows? I would like to know if those things change. But some of the older videos were kind of just some of my favorites and they're just cringy to watch because they are so old. But I would like to bring back old YouTube, if that makes sense. Um, but again, not have a video every single week, but having a video occasionally would be fine with me. Um, I do have some videos planned with like my best friend, Sylvia, 
Um, we haven't shot any of those videos yet, but we probably will soon, so hopefully those videos will come out, but, you know, I have some video ideas, but I just don't have enough video ideas to post every week, if that makes sense. Yeah, I just want to kind of just go with the flow this year and just be more chill about it and not stress about it, because last year I thought I had to post because I was, I need to post on a Friday, even though I was consistently posting every week, there was a video every week, it was just a vlog. I would just be in my mind that I just need to post on Friday. So this year I just want to work on being a little more chill, a little more go with the flow and just post when I feel like posting. Um, but I will have to say that I am going to give you guys a big thank you because um, on December 11th of 2023, we officially hit 100 subscribers on this channel. That's insane. I cannot believe that has actually come, but I am so glad that you guys are subscribed and you have joined our family because we absolutely love you. And uh, we are currently actually sitting at 113 subscribers as I'm recording this. So of course I will take those extra 13 people and love you guys as well. Um, but thank you so much for subscribing and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet, you should definitely subscribe because I think we're pretty cool people. Yeah, I think you'll think we're pretty cool people and why not join our family? It's completely free and we would love to see you every single week. So, um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys loved from last year. And subscribe if you haven't already and turn on that bell notification so you're notified when we post every single Tuesday and then you'll be notified when we post those Friday videos or even those true crime videos if you're into that stuff so this is Kim's or whatever and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys